Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. In today's video, I want to show you the details of the SGG4 geared limit switch, which is the standard upper limit switch and lower limit switch for hoist travel, found on many of the hoist models for many years. It is on the DR Pro, DR Comp, DR Boss, DMR Gen 1, DMR Gen 2, and DC 16 and 25 size chain hoist. The concept of the switch is to have a slow down and stop position known as the operating upper limit then the emergency upper limit at the upper end of travel to prevent two blocking and a slow down and stop before final travel to the floor. So it is a four position switch. Each switch corresponds with an adjusting screw on the switch itself. The geared limit switch creates a slowdown stop at the upper end of travel to prevent tube blocking. Transitions from high speed to low speed to a final stopping point, known as the emergency upper limit switch. The slowdown point is known as the operating upper limit switch. There's also a slowdown and stop on lower. To adjust any of the limit switch positions is a relatively easy method of turning one adjusting screw with a hex wrench. Let's look closer. We've opened the cover on this hoist to show you the geared limit switch in the housing where it's mounted. We have the hoist electrically disconnected now to be able to do this safely. We want to talk about the switch and its operation. There are four separate switches number one, two, three, and four are built in. Number one is the emergency upper limit switch. Number two is the operating upper limit switch, which is the slowdown point when lifting. Three is the slowdown for lowering, and four is the final lowering limit, which we normally would set about six inches off the floor, so the hook won't crush the top of a steel toe boot. It comes from foot safety. Notice this has piece of electrical tape over the contact points where the plug slips on for added protection if you were making adjustments and this was energized. Highly recommend. The key features are instructions exist on the face of the switch itself for if you want to raise your hook position up or down. Note that smaller model hoists turn in one direction and the large DR20 20-ton hoist had the opposite direction for its adjustment. The five screws run across the top. One of the five is a different color than the other four. The fifth screw moves the entire set of four adjustments the same amount, up or down. So it acts like a gain set adjustment. But we don't like to use it. It tends to strain the plastic screw, and we don't want to cause any potential for damage to any of the adjusting screws. So we use a four millimeter Allen wrench to make the adjustment. The most common adjustment that you'll run into is having to lower the hook to the floor all the way to get more drum rotation to get to the clamps to remove a wire rope when making a wire rope change out. Per the instruction, for a small model hoist, this is a DMR5, the adjustment direction to turn the screw is counterclockwise to make a hook position lower. So we've run our bottom block to the lowest position at this point in time, and we will, in theory, use the S4 switch and turn it counterclockwise to get more downward travel. We'll go ahead and step back, turn power on, and see that we can run this bottom block to a lower position. So we just proved that a counterclockwise rotation of the adjusting screw allowed us more travel in the downward direction. So that rule applies to all four of the switches and all four of the adjusting screws. I hope you found our video informative and allows you to understand the workings of the geared limit switch and its adjustment. 
Please look for other videos in our BMR series.